He was actually a Swiss school teacher by the name of J.J. Balmuth. who was first able to write down a mathematical characterization of these observations. Kind of interesting that he's a school teacher. Yeah, he did so in the Journal of Annals of Physics. In the year 1885. So again, notice that this was well before Thompson even discovered the electron. Now, since Balmer uh, was mostly aware of work being done in the visible portion of the spectrum, because that was all that was done back in the 1880s, his sequence followed something like this. It was a sequence of wavelengths that had an asymptotic value uh, and characterized by an integer n greater than or equal to 3. So for any integer plugged into this formula, one can get one of the allowed values for wavelengths emitted from, uh, in this case, hydrogen. Uh, it's hydrogen when it has this particular value of the limit or asymptotic wavelength. But other atomic species have a different lambda limit. It's the same pattern. And it has to be said that actually eventually um, there were other uh, sequences of, of light emission like this. And so this formula had to be generalized. by a number n not squared, and this integer n would be any integer greater than n not. So the Balmer series was the particular case of n not is 2, but there were other series found for each of these atoms, for n not is 1, or 2, or 3, or 4. So we refer to the Balmer series, or the Balmer sequence, as the particular case of n not is 2, but every atomic species could have also other sequences of, of light emission where M0 takes on other values. Eventually, a sequence was found in the ultraviolet, referred to as the Lyman series. This is a particular case where M0 is 1, and the asymptotic value here is 91.13 nanometers. So you can see this is the area where wavelengths approach as n gets larger and larger. This is the first such entry in that sequence. That's the case where n is 2 and n is 1. n is 3 is up here. n is 4 is right here. And then 5, 6, 7 on up to n it goes to infinity when you get 91.13 nanometers. This is all in the ultraviolet for hydrogen. The next sequence for hydrogen is the Balmer series. That's all in the visible. It's the case where n0 is 2, and the asymptotic value is 364.5 nanometers. That's just above the, of the, of the violet, or on up into the ultraviolet. But eventually, 
there's a sequence found for n naught is 3. Uh, this was referred to as the Paschen series after it's discovered. And it's all in the, in the infrared. The limiting or asymptotic value of wavelength is 820.1 nanometers. That's above the red, but it extends all the way up as high as uh, nearly 2 microns or 2,000 nanometers. There were later found to be uh, series with n naught is 4 when the limiting wavelength is 1500 nanometers, so that's fully up into the infrared. And yet another one uh, by the name of uh, Fund, where n naught is 5, and the limiting wavelength is 2200 nanometers.